Hello and welcome back to this series on Latin NLP with Python. Now, in the last few videos, I've shown you how to install CLTK, Classical Language Toolkit, and how to download and import various corpora for analysis. In the next few videos, really for the next 10 or so, we're going to be working with a single text that I asked, asked for you to install or download and put into a directory in the second video. And it looks like this, and we're going to call it pl.txt. And I'll have a link in the description down below for where you can download this. And what we're going to be doing is putting it in our subfolder or subdirectory data, and then we're going to drop it in there. So if you notice, we have a few problems in this text. So we've got filio with a J right here, shouldn't be there, even by medieval <laughs> standards, that's kind of weird. Um, and then we've got some other problems. We've got these uh, odd brackets that have C space one kilobyte. This is something that is normal when you're importing a text from the PL. Uh, as a human, we can ignore this. And what this was, was this originally an image uh, that was there that didn't survive in the text form when you copied and pasted it over. I'm going to show you in the next few videos how to clean that up. And then we've also got this information in the parentheses. This is a reference. This is a citation to uh, Hebrews 12.6. Uh, then we've also got some other stuff, and this is common with PL. Uh, you're going to have C-O-L dot and then some numbers and a letter, and this is going to be your column. This is how you um, delineate pages in the, the PL. Uh, so there's basically uh, on each page there's two columns, and everything's referenced by uh, four columns, A, B, C, and D. Uh, but we want to get rid of all of that. We want to get rid of a lot of this stuff in order to actually perform proper NLP. Because when you pass a text through an NLP like CLTK, the NLP uh, process doesn't realize that this stuff is not part of the main body of the text. So in order to actually pass only the text, you got to clean up a lot of it. And another thing you really need to do is you need to get rid of punctuation. And this is going to be called data standardization and data preparation. And the thing we're going to do in this video, the main thing we're going to do, is we're going to standardize the text by making sure that every J is an I and making sure that every V is a U. This is going to make sure that no matter how your text is formatted, it's formatted consistently as you analyze it through an NLP. So let's say you're looking at, uh, let's say, a thousand texts from four different editions. Those editions are going to have different standardizations of how they handles, handle I's and U's. And what this allows for you to do is to standardize all of those texts and just convert every I to, or every J to an I and every uh, uh, U to a V or V to a U. And so what we're going to do in this video is kind of work through that whole process. So let's just kind of jump right in. So what we're going to do is we're going to first import the JV replacer. We're going to say from cltk.stem.latin.j uh, underscore v. Import JV replacer. Now it's important for you to get these capitals right. Capital J, capital V, capital R, and then just a placer. And what we're going to say is we're going to save with open, and this is going to be us opening up our data so we can actually read it. We're going to say data pl.txt, and we're going to simply say r because we're just reading it, and we're going to open it up as f. And then we're going to say text is going to be equal to f.read. Wonderful. Now we're going to print this off, make sure that we actually do in fact have it, and that's always nice to do to troubleshoot, and in fact it worked perfectly. Now that we've got our text as an object, we can start doing some fun stuff. So I'm going to just, I'll paste this in the description down below. I've already gone through and done this trial and error uh, to figure out where exactly uh, a few key characters are that I want you to look at. And I'll explain this in just one second. Let me type this out. 1330. Okay, great. So when we do this, I'm going to go ahead and comment that out. When I do that, you see it reaches these two points in the text. Uh, delecto filio and uh, valde placet. If you're mad at my pronunciation, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a medievalist, so pretty much all the rules are out in pronunciation for us, uh, even though we should be probably pronouncing it with ecclesiastical Latin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to simply uh, go through and standardize this text 
by standardizing the J's to I's and U's to V's. So our goal here is to make this say uh, uh, Filio with an I and uh, Valde with a U. So we're going to simply create an object called J, and this is how it's in the Py uh, this is the Pythonic way to do it. It's in the CLTK documentation. We're going to say JVR replacer, and we're going to just have no arguments. That's our object. Wonderful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say text. We're going to modify our text object by running it through j.replace. And we're going to pass in one argument. That's going to be our text. And now what I'll do is I'll print off that text just to make sure it all went smoothly. And sure enough, it has. And I think you can probably already see where I'm going with this. I'm going to do 0, 1, 4. And then I'm also going to print off text. And I'm going to do 1, 3, 0, 5 and 1330. And we're going to see two different versions. We're going to see the old right here, and we're going to see the new right here. What we've done in this one line of code is we've used the Python function from CLTK replace and modified our entire text so that all of the I's are, are all the J's are now I's. We can see that change here. And all of the V's are now U's with, we can see that here with uh, Valde and Walde. So this is how you standardize your text using the built-in replace function in CLTK. Hopefully you've found this useful. And the next video, we're going to start doing a bit more. We're going to start actually uh, modifying the text more significantly by getting rid of non-Latin characters. And I'm going to show you a few custom functions for cleaning up PL texts. That's going to be it for this video, though. Thank you for listening, and if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below.